I don't think I ever use protection. <laughs> So, who cares? Why not do your own thing and let them say what they want? What's up guys? Today I have my dad here. I asked you guys to ask him questions and we have a bunch of good ones. He hasn't seen any of these yet. You can be honest. This isn't live, so I can cut it to my, to my pleasure. Are you ready, dad? Hi, fans. Hi, fans. Patreons. Patreons. <laughs> We're starting with patrons questions, so let's... Go ahead and get into it. Question. So, Mike van der Dungen. Hey, Mike. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did Tara have any weird habits as a kid? If you could rename Tara, what would you name her? When she was young, she basically herded and uh, controlled all the kids around her. So she was like a team leader. If I was to rename her, I would definitely uh, name her Misty. Definitely. Misty! Definitely. Yay! It's not dirt anymore? No. <laughs> it's not dirt anymore, that's good. And not Mathers either, so. so. Not Misty Mathers. <laughs> that, that time has passed, for sure. Obi says, one, Tara always credited you for getting her into gaming. Did you play video games before she was born? And if so, which were your favorites? Um, I pretty much grew up myself on games, mostly just the Atari 2600. So maybe Jungle Hunt, but uh, just the uh, early Activision stuff. Uh, most of the Activision was such a cut above uh, the Atari stuff, so I tried to stick with the Activision. Second question is, give us your best dad joke. Oh my goodness. On the spot. She's already said this once. I gave her a brand new Pokemon Pikachu watch and handed her a glass of water. I asked her what time it was and she turned her wrist and dumped the water in her lap. Made me a stronger individual for sure. Heike, a holo pe uh, God, you guys have the, the foreignest names ever. Uh, holo Painen said, did you ever want to beat any of Tara's boyfriends? The only one that I really had any real exposure to was Jay, and Jay was just too big. So you pretty much just had to kind of put up with it. And look <laughs> but you're taller. And roll your eyes, you know. I could spank him, but I thought he'd probably enjoy that. Joel Emerson says, what profession did you think Tara would go into when she was a kid slash teen? Well, I was hoping it would be photo editing and uh, video editing from day one on account of I had exposure to the software and uh, was doing a little bit of that myself. Even when I was a really little kid? Yeah. You wanted yeah. me to be a basketball player, didn't you? Mm. And then I didn't grow at all. <laughs> well, after the bicycle riding debacle, I oh, didn't teach you anything. <laughs> You can tell him that story. Oh no, I'm gonna let you tell him that. Oh God. So uh, when I was learning to ride a bike, right? Was it one of the ones that like you pedal backwards? Yeah, it was a yeah. Trek mountain bike. Yeah. So I thought it would be one of the ones where you like pull on the handle brakes, but I didn't think about it. So I start riding and I'm riding into like the, what was it, like the baseball, baseball diamond, the yeah. baseball diamond thing. And there's like the, the fence in the back, you know, if you don't catch the ball. And I just like kept going and then like halfway through, I'm like, fuck, where are the fucking brakes? There's nothing here. It was just like handlebars. You just let me run into the fence. I failed to mention that, what, what their brakes were and how to use them. That is them. how I learned to ride a fucking bike. Send her downhill with no brakes. <laughs> And another life lesson, actually. Never trust your dad. Darren says, what was your first impression of Jay? Um, Jay was polite. What about Tara's YouTube channel do you like and dislike? I think it's great. Um, Yay. She does a lot of work on content. I watch some YouTube, don't have any favorites, but what I do watch, uh, her, her production levels are higher. And I take a little credit for that because her early introduction into editing and, and Photoshop you gotta learn from what you're doing and move forward. And if you just think, oh yeah, I'm doing great, and then just not change, then you're making a mistake. You just gotta keep plugging at it and get it get it good. Killis Moonslider says, hi Tara's dad. Hey. My question will be on your feeling of having such a nice daughter far from you and virtually surrounded by all her fans. Well, the nice thing about Tara is that she's always been independent even when she was really young. The bad thing about it is you can't always not rely on other people, even no matter how hard you, hard you try. But the nice thing is, is you can't blame anybody for when you do make mistakes. And when you have this great support like she has from her fans and her patrons and her viewers, it, it's really, makes me not have to worry so much about her because I get to see her all the time on her channels. It's good to see her. I, you know, I worry about, uh, you know, her feeling bad some days when she talks about it, but, uh, she's a big girl and I'm proud of her. My dad just called me fat. Did I really? Well, where's some camouflage and nobody would see you. Oh, he came here the first day with a camouflage hat that said Las Vegas on it and then camouflage shorts. And I go, why is he not wearing a hat and shorts? And my mom like freaks out. She's like, 
He is. She's... It even took me a moment. I forgot her video. <laughs> You're like, am I not wearing pants? A week ago, was it? <laughs> Yeah, but like my fans or fans, I call them viewers. Okay, fans is like it's kind of demeaning. Oh, I have fans. You have viewers. That's true. That that's how that I works. Because I got like a thousand fans just now. You didn't even know it. So. Yeah, it's probably true. I'm gonna post his non-existent Instagram where he only does ass shots <laughs> down in the description. I'm, I'm gonna post a picture of like Danny DeVito's ass or something. I got a pretty good crack on my own, so you can, <laughs> you can post whatever you like. My fans, though, they can't go and like fix my car when my car breaks down. That's like the thing I feel like I've called you for the most when I was in Seattle. Like, Dad, my car is not fucking working. What do I do? Jay will never be a mechanic. As he should not. <laughs> the new guy says, uh, what were your first thoughts when Tara told you she was going to do full-time YouTube? Were you worried or anything like that? Oh, uh, I wasn't surprised at all. My biggest question is, um, I really didn't know how that process was. So I was more interested to see how that came out you know, over time. Do like to learn just about anything I can about anything. So it was interesting to see that she was on a quest to learn how to do this and make it work. It's good to you know follow her and I was uh, happy she's doing it. I'm proud of her. Yeah, something I really like about my parents is that they actually support what I do. Even if they, they have, you guys have had like reservations, like especially when I was like full-time modeling and stuff. And there were times when I wasn't like making as much in the beginning and stuff. I remember, I like that you guys supported me, but you never were just like not worried at all. You know, like there was a healthy skepticism. I'm really sure I'd be a little that. more concerned if you turn into a crack dealer or something. But... <laughs> Zoe says, did you have any cute pet names for Tara as a kid? If so, do you still call her it to this day. Well, without uh, trying to get too salty, there wasn't a whole lot of pet names. Um, Tara was was my girl, and that's what I called her. My girl. Um, and I don't uh, remember any recurring pet names. I think I used to call you a rat a lot. Yeah. Because she had this bracelet with uh, her name on little squares, and if you put it on the wrong arm, it said a rat instead of Tara. So she kind of. And then I when I grew out of that, that went into your truck, like on the on the yep. thing, right? The sure. rear view mirror. A number of trucks, yeah. A number of trucks. Jason says, have you ever used the vape products that Tara gave you at all? The what? Oh yeah, absolutely. Yep. Yep. Uh, the you big still thing, vape? Um, the only thing I do is I like to go with the watermelons, the cinnamons I found out you have to use a glass vial or else it eats it up. I would definitely recommend anybody go that route with the flavor of the month and just try to stick with that. Um, I have shared those with quite a few people who are actually into the nicotine ones and they want to cut back because she always got the non-nicotines and I simply won't do nicotine anymore after smoking two packs a day for 20 years. So it does help. That was help. a long time ago though. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Was, they literally, but, uh, you guys quit cold turkey when I was like five yeah, or something, yep, right? Yeah, we couldn't do it around you anymore and it just, just wasn't feasible. Okay, Alexander says, question for dad. How different does modern Tara look from Tara back in high school? Her face is not as round as it used to be and a lot more mature looking, which I think is better. <gasps> Just call um, me old. When I think of Tara Young, I think of her really young with gloves on, playing in the snow. When I injured my knee and I had some time off, we spent a lot of time rollerblading and biking and stuff. So those are the times that I think of the most. High school was more like, she was just so busy all the time, terrifying her mom by climbing rockeries and stuff like that. But uh, that's that's the stuff that means the most to me. Mom hated that. Yeah. She fucking hated it. I can remember that vividly being like, Bob! Stop! Don't, she's don't gonna fall. <laughs> <laughs> of course, she's gonna fall. Yeah. That's what this fun's all about. That's why I'm glad I had a dad and wasn't like raised by a single mom because I would be so sheltered. Marcel Oybift. Guys, did you ever find any friend or acquaintance that uh, didn't know you were her dad and how they reacted when you found out? I can tell you that uh, where I work, I've talked to a few people about her, and as soon as I describe her, they know exactly who she is. <laughs> That's cool. And it's uh, pretty strange because I'm talking to some pretty young guys, you know. Oh, yeah, I know exactly who she is. Oh, God. <laughs> so it's like, oh, well, never mind that. I was going to tell you to go, you know. That must be awkward. So, no, that's fine. I mean, you know, <laughs> it's your uh, fan base procedure. My niche. You know. Fan right. base procedure. F that's right. B P. It's my F B P. <laughs> Question for Mr. B. Tara has mentioned in the past she was an accident. Did you use protection? I don't think I ever use protection. <laughs> Great. That's the. How that's, am I only one of me? That's like the lesson I want to pass on to everybody. <laughs> is that uh, sex you know, ed with dad? Things happen, and you know <laughs> that's why it's. Uh, 
Things happen. That's how that's it is. Right. That's the lesson. Gotta, gotta Not you as protection. Just shit happens. Hey, well, he stuck around like all the years. So mm -hmm. that's yeah. cool. Why not? She was tons of fun. Little kid was great. Did you have to like, like people say where like you have reservations until the birth and then you're like, oh my God, I love it. Like, did it take you that long to be like, yes, children um, or? When your mom was having you in the hospital, it was at the university hospital and uh, I was walking around because it was taking a while and ran into all kinds of college guys doing all kinds of listed things. And so the time I got back to the hospital, I was pretty happy about the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> and I had this wristband that proved that uh, you were mine. Hopefully they didn't switch me. Is it possible to be switched? Like, did I ever go and then you got me back and you're like, not sure? I don't sure? think we were that lucky. I think it's just... the <laughs> paperwork. Lucky. By then the paperwork was pretty good. There was no barcode on your butt or anything like that. <laughs> Aww. Which, you know, Sad. They should do that. But they you, should chip you, us you like cats. You definitely got my nose and you know, you got... Uh, hey, I tried to change it. Yeah, so, so you can't really tell. But. <laughs> Yeah. It was there. More so. your eyes than your nose. Can we talk about the eyes? And I got your mustache. Brandon Beamish says, uh, and I'm gonna paraphrase this, because you basically answered this question before, but do you watch the streams as well, and do you prefer streams or YouTube? What I enjoyed was the early uh, gaming channel stuff that she did when she was playing Terran, Terran on... Uh, Starcraft? Starcraft. What? You know, because I, I play those games too, and I enjoyed watching her play and what strategy she had. You know, and I cannot do keyboard macros anywhere as fast as she can. <laughs> I'm way but, better. But, uh, you know, I used to really be into those games. So it was something that I knew what was going on. You know, a lot of a lot of parents would see that kind of chaos in video gaming and go like, what is that? And I enjoyed a lot of the stuff that I, I actually understood and I can, you know, follow on and say, hey, well, maybe I'll try that next time. So, sex book. 18 plus content says <laughs> what are your most vivid mem memories from your childhood my childhood my big thing was spending as much time with my older brother as possible he moved out pretty young so uh I kind of lost my best friend, so what I ended up doing was just becoming adventurous, you know, trying to, you know, learn how to surf, scuba dive, or, you know, ride skateboards. Moved to California for a while, so it was just, uh, you know, I was trying to find what I wanted to do. Always thought about being a scuba instructor somewhere, you know, in the Micronese or some tourist island where I could teach people how to scuba dive and then live on the beach. Always had a dream, never really got around to it. Why didn't you do it? You could have just like moved and backpacked. Well, this, yeah. But then, you know, once you start finding out what you really want to do, which I ended up being in construction and building building things, there's a lot of reward in getting in your vehicle at the end of the day and sitting back with your sweat in your eyes and you're sore and you look up and you saw something you actually built that day and you got something done. And that's a reward that really meant a lot to me was to be able to look at a situation, picture what it is in my mind and then create it and then step back and say, hey, well, there it is. You know, I did that, you know. A lot like Tara's creation, you know, content creation, it's there, you know, and there it is. You can sit back after hours of work and say, wow, that's pretty good. I actually watched a video recently um, where they talked to, it was like, I was watching it because he's like a bass teacher, but he was just talking about like music. Mm -hmm. And he was saying that like he was uh, working up to this big performance and he was talking about how after the performance and he had the video of it and everything, he felt depressed. And then like he counteracted that by realizing that it's not the finished work that you're supposed to be looking forward to. It's the process, the process that's supposed to like sustain you. And anytime you're talking to any real artist, that's what they tell you. It's the process of creation that means anything because that's what grows. Yeah, if you look yeah. too hard at the, the finished product and that's all you have, you end up just looking in the past and feeling depressed. Yeah. So as long as you like the process. I feel the same way though about like making something. Sometimes I just want to do like manual labor. I know that sounds like retarded, <laughs> but I think about like um, when whenever we do end up buying a house, which is apparently not going to be this one, story time later. I always want to like, I watch those shows where people are renovating houses and I always want to be the one with the sledgehammer like breaking not out the, out. yeah, like that looks like a lot of fun. And I used to come to your like construction sites and like kind of do some nails. Yeah, you almost died I'm, on one of them. Some <laughs> they did? What? I don't remember that. Oh, I don't, I don't know why we pulled over. We were going to the entrance to Eagle Ridge where we built a bunch of houses up there. And oh, is this the drowning story? Yeah, you just yeah I remember got out of the that. Car and just ran right off in the water, you know, underwater. <laughs> It's why like, why was there water there? It's uh, it's called a retention pond when there was a lot of rain. It helps hold the water. Apparently yeah. you realized you were not Jesus at that time. You were a <laughs> bottom feeder. Like I was just like, fuck it. 
that looks like fun. Yeah, and then there were, there were a few other times like when I uh, I used to like go to his work either on uh, Take Your Daughter to Work Day or like uh, they would have this arts fair and I would come and I would like uh, help clean up and stuff afterwards as a volunteer and that was always fun. I remember that one time I was on the back of like the truck or something. I jumped off and hit my head oh, on, yeah, the, on, the on the beam. I was like out for a bit. <laughs> Never been the same. And I, that's the fact that the first time you ever drove was a golf cart. At really? One of those events. I let you drive a golf cart. Yeah, I was like 16 or something. Yeah, ripping around the garage in a golf cart. Okay, next question is from Barney. I've asked this on Insta, but I'll say it here too. Dad, question. You gotta do the question, you gotta do it. Question. You gotta do, you gotta do the weird finger thing. <laughs> what video game would you not let Tara play as a kid and why? I, I feel like that was a thing. I don't think I ever restricted uh, any games to her. I was kind of into the Nintendo side of, you know, the kids' fun games. Old Nintendo games were not kids' games. Well, as, as far as the the uh, the jump and jump and shoot stuff, Doom and all that Doom. stuff. I mean, Resident really Evil. It wasn't any of that stuff. I mean, having guys dropping out of the ceiling on you is pretty rough at any age, to tell you the truth. <laughs> that's true. But I assume she was doing it on the games. She wouldn't be doing it in real life. So that's. Get it out of her system. Get it out of yeah. Um, but there were some games that were pretty frustrating for everybody in the house, like uh, uh, Goofy. Goof Troop. Where you'd steal all the prizes after digging things up and piss your mom off. And My mom takes games too seriously. So, well, especially <laughs> when you're stealing all the prizes after she digs them up. No, she has to like divvy it up perfectly. And then there's a, a, a diamond. Like one of the diamonds that's like really important and gives you like a lot of life or something. I'll pick that up. And then she'll be like, what the fuck? She wants to be ahead of me. She's stingy. That's what well, it is. Well, on account She's of stingy. when you walk up and you have to catch a cannonball and throw it back, it always killed you. So I was she had to get in front and Yeah, because, uh, what's his name? The kid, what is his name? Uh, his Goofy name. and kid. The post in the comments. The kid like is one shot, I think, and and the adult like is two shot. It's like yeah, Goofy adult, is two shot. Yeah. yeah. So okay, and new guy has another question, and then we'll do a few Insta ones, and we'll wrap this up because I feel like I'm hurting my dad's eyes with these lights. All right, he says, uh, what do you think of Tara's more revealing content, uh, like her model career and now on her Patreon? Uh, thanks for taking the time to answer questions. By the way, it's really appreciated. Well, I was a nude model too myself, but actually I wasn't. It's been 30 minutes, you gotta restart. Okay, so you weren't a nude model. Everybody, in my opinion, has a right to express themselves any way they want to, as long as it doesn't hurt other people. If she wanted to dress up like uh, Barney, I, I know you already asked a question, but if you want to dress like a Barney the dinosaur and walk around downtown Las Vegas, there's nothing wrong with that. As long as she's not kicking other people while she's doing it. He's Flintstones Barney. Oh, the wrong Barney. Sorry, dude. If I wanted to dress up like Flintstones Barney, would that be okay? Yeah, as long as she's not violating any laws that are cause her to go to jail or disparaging remarks against uh, people who don't go, you know, and express themselves in the way she chooses to. Fucking losers. Um, retards. Retards. But, uh, you know, it's do your own thing, man. I grew up 70s and 80s. Yeah, good answer. So it's like, whatever. If you want to be all tight-assed and in a bunch, that's up to you, buddy. Get your content from somebody else. Yeah. But if you want honesty, if you want Tara, the way she really is, you're in the right place. Mm, oh yeah. To Instagram, which we're not gonna take all of these because obviously patrons take fucking priority. Auburn Geek says, hi Tara's dad. Hello. Do you play a musical instrument? Well, at one time I was involved with the uh, music industry. Um, I worked basically in lighting and sound with uh, Hearts PA system, it's called the Cube system. Did a few good sized concerts for a few people. I tried to play guitar. Um, had some guitars. As far as actually trying to be a musician, I just left that to my dad because he was a professional musician. And Really? You didn't know that? Oh, he was a country western musician. You oh. didn't know that, did you? Wow, I didn't know that. He was the only uh, pedal steel guitar instructor in, in the Washington, Oregon, Idaho area. When I was a kid, there was a guy named Jerry Andel, sort of a famous uh, country western musician, but he had a baby cougar. A baby cougar? Yeah, because he owned uh, Jerry Andel uh, Ford Mercury, and that was his mascot was a baby cougar. He used to bring it over all the time, and I get to hug it. And pull That's it cute. And, yeah, it was great. But yeah, that was, uh, you know, part of my trying to figure out what I wanted to do stage. She wants us to do a video with you playing something. You got to get good at guitar I, again so we can play. Just, my hands have been destroyed from the construction and what I do you now. You can't make excuses. Just, just shot. So Anna Jean, I don't know if you remember Anna Jean. Do you remember Doug Nelson and Anna? 
Here, I'll show you a picture. Maybe you'll remember her. Oh, actually, she, she I like, do. Yeah, yeah, she yeah, lived yeah. around our, mm -hmm. our neighborhood. She says, how many Pokemon matches did you drive Terra to when we were kids? Oh, my God. Um, where we are, there was quite a bit of that early, and they had dedicated venues at some of the big shopping malls. I remember getting the Japanese ones. We didn't really start playing till after the U.S. versions came out. But I had a, a friend who uh, had uh, a couple of dojos in Japan. He'd fly back and forth, and he'd get me cards, and I'd give them to Tara, and she'd figure out which ones she wanted to know about, and I'd have to go back, and he'd have to translate <laughs> what it is, you know. And uh, But once they got... Uh, Got to the U.S. versions. I think we maybe 15 or 20. Did you yeah. ever play? I don't remember if you yeah, played. Yeah, you always let the kids kick the crap out of me. You know, I mean, everybody knew who I was. So if you wanted to level up, you just go kick Bob's ass. <laughs> Stay away from Terra. Every time I'm playing Magic and there's a little kid, I want to wreck him. And they always end up being like the best. Like literally the best. Like five-year-old kids. You're a nicer person than me. I would wreck the dreams. For That's sure. because you were an eight-year-old kid at the time yourself. So. <laughs> I never grew out of it. I still want to wreck eight-year-old kids. Okay, so Miss Hassan says, So looking forward to this. Dad, how do you feel about the way your daughter dresses? I've always wondered this, considering my parents are very conservative and hate the way that I dress. Oh, uh, I am super jealous. I mean, girls get to wear all hey, the cool clothes. And I'll tell you what, if they came in my size, I'd be considering it because, uh, I don't know, fashion today has is, is been growing since the 90s <laughs> as far as being part of your expression. I love the goth look. You love the goth look? I do. I, I think that strict black and white, it's a statement, you know, and that's, that's what clothes should be. Logical follow-up question. So as a parent, you know, you don't want your kid to do something or you feel apprehensive about it. Do you have any advice for kids on how to handle parents who like aren't okay with them being themselves like you guys are. Well, when when you started expressing yourself, um, you couldn't have color in your hair to go to school. They'd throw you out of school. Yeah, no makeup. So, you know, it's like there's a point about expressing yourself and another point about doing it to get making your life a lot more difficult than it needs to be. So if you can find a balance between being yourself and expressing yourself and the way you look, the way you put your makeup on, you know, what jewelry you wear, and then there's also avoiding prosecution. Some things, social expression, you know, to bring about change, there's always been sacrifices in that, but not to, you know, the extent where you ruin in your future. Expression to, you know, support any kind of social agenda you might have is fine. My dad's a leftist. But I don't trust anybody, so if that makes me a leftist, that's fine. <laughs> but, uh, I would um, say you guys are probably more libertarian. I mean, you guys like I mom votes Democrat or whatever, but you I've guys never, are. I've never voted in my life because I don't. I don't <laughs> Same. <laughs> I don't believe in the process so much as I do. Uh, I put my trust in the average person, but open discussion is what makes America what it is. America. Go USA. USA. Um, Closed-mindedness is not what makes USA. Initially, how did your dad slash parents react uh, to you being so open about sexuality at a young age and where do they stand now? Uh, to preface this, I don't feel like I was open with them about anything when I was younger as much. So I don't know, was it like a shock to you or when like, I started parents. modeling or I mean, something? We're, we're parents, I mean, come on. But the thing I, I always remember is, what's the old saying, everybody's doing it, you know? <laughs> everybody's doing it. So it's it. like, you know, it's, I don't want you doing it on the hood of my car while I'm driving or anything. But... Oh, only while you're, not while he's driving. But, okay, uh, we're know, good. I mean, it's just, it's just like, <laughs> oh, be man. safe, stay away from animals, even though it's legal in some states. <laughs> it is? Yes. Actually, they banned it in one state yesterday. It was like a 30 to 25 vote. What the? <laughs> 25 people are like... 25% <laughs> of the legislation thought it was yeah. okay, so whatever. Just let it, let it happen. So, Anna Belize says, As a father, what is your proudest moment seeing me achieve or grow into, a, in, into an adult? Well, I don't, I don't think adult would be the proper word. I would say the confident woman. Because you go through life as a girl, and it's really hard growing up as a girl, I swear, it's not easy. You know, tend to doubt yourself, and you go through all these phases that you go through, and then all of a sudden, it kind of sharpens. I don't know if you guys do photography, but once it sharpens in, you can see the picture, and then you become confident of who you are. But that's, that's a big thing, and I enjoy that a lot, because once you are confident, and you are who you are, and it's just beauty to see, you know, how that is in, in any children, you know. 
but particularly in, in girls, because you know the whole society makes you doubt everything. You know whether or not you're pretty or whatever. The thing about confidence is, is you are who you are without your friends. So when you are with your friends, you're that much stronger. And having confidence also means you don't necessarily need your friends to be happy and to achieve what you need to do. I would always recommend, specifically to girls, is be the best you can be first, and then try to go out and influence the world. To go and get involved with some somebody because you need them to feel complete, you're never gonna get the rewards there. You have to be confident in yourself first. You don't need anybody else to be that way. But once you are, it's like having twice as much strength when you are together with your friends or your loved one. Why do you go to bars to meet men that you're going to be with? I mean, you can never fix, there's no such thing as a fixer-upper, I mean. Yeah. There's lost causes. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. Are uh, you a lost cause, Dad? I am, but uh, <laughs> I don't know why girls have this maternal instinct to try to, you know, fix them. Well, that's what makes them great yeah. mothers, you know? Yeah. <laughs> they want to, like, extend that to their boyfriends. It's more fun when it's a project, you know? Alessandra Jackson says, what were Tara's favorite things growing up? Well, mostly Tara was an artist. Going back through her stuff now, she doodled a lot about a lot of different things. Our cat growing up and anything that happens to be moving and alive. I would say her biggest thing is her love for animals and her desire to not see any kind of pain or suffering and things. She was always on the, the bright, living, fun, prancing around side. And I love all those animals, you know, they're cool. They, Animals. We would definitely not be a, a cool place to live on this planet without them. So, so some you know, of them are like necessary, like bees and shit. Yeah, them bees, you know. <laughs> them bees. Them bees, they just gotta get it together. Uh, I watched a video that said what would happen if we removed all the world's cats overnight and we would just die. The rats yeah. would overrun and well, then it would the amount be... of <laughs> things that cats kill is actually kind of not that great, but whatever. I'm more into the thing that the spiders, we'd be knee deep in insects if we didn't have spiders. Also the, the lizards here, I was talking to the, the pest guy and I was like, they don't kill the lizards, right? And they're like, oh no, no, the lizards actually do our job for us. Well, it's who, great. <laughs> who do you expect to sell insurance? I mean, if you kill off all the lizards. We don't have geckos though. We have the tiny little cute lizards. Skinks? I don't know, they're a little brown, really fast. I'm sure in downtown Vegas they call them skanks, but whatever. <laughs> Speaking of skanks, I have a good one for you, Dad. Zero the Hero says, Is he disappointed in his plastic slut of a daughter? If not, he should be. What was his name again? Zero the Hero. Well, that's absolutely perfect name for you, buddy. Actually, I think uh, <laughs> trolls have always been a source of entertainment my entire life and I endorse them 100% because troll party. if there wasn't trolls, we wouldn't appreciate people who actually have a constructive criticism. This is something I tried to teach Tara when she was young. If you let somebody make you angry, you're gonna be the one that's gonna get in trouble. But the idea is take their power away by manipulating trolls, whatever's gonna set him off even more, and you just kind of work him up because that's what he's there for. You know, it's like... <laughs> yeah. Kate Snee says, do you have any celebrity crushes? Me? Probably the squirrel from Spongebob. The squirrel? You don't even know her name? It's either Sally or something stupid. He doesn't even care about her name. Yeah. Wouldn't even call her back. She's got a great tail. <laughs> what is your best memory with Tara? Just the exploring, um, right? Probably, or do you have a specific... probably when I had that time off from injury, because I've worked my entire life, and uh, when I tore my ACL, I had to rehabilitate, and uh, that was riding bikes and rollerblading and walking and stuff, and so just kind of running around. If I hadn't hurt myself, I wouldn't have had that time. So terrorizing her friends. Um, you were good at that. Being typical dad is like an obligation you have to have, you know, when you have girl children, is to embarrass the crap out of them. <laughs> <laughs> That's so. true. You remember um, when I was really young, I had a friend named Kylie. This is all I remember because mm, sure. I was really young. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to go to her house once, but we went there and then I threw a fit because I couldn't go there. And then so to make me feel better, we on the way home went to look for fossils. Do you remember that? Yeah. Do you remember that, well, like even where that was? Why, yeah, why that did was, we I find fossils? we went fossils? down by uh, Des Moines, down by the waterfront there and dug on a hillside or some and we place. just found a place with fossils and like yeah. petrified wood and shit. That, that was a cool this memory. The thing about being a dad is you gotta be able to pull those out when you need them. <laughs> uh, even though it's all lies and you still gotta just make it. Yeah, just like knowing how to get to the fucking, the, the 
thing. What, what is, I can't remember what it's called. High the, roller? The high roller, yeah. yeah. He's like, I know how to get to the high roller. All indoors, trolleys, it's good. And then we end up walking. It's only like, 200 feet tall, it's hard to miss. Well, it's good though, because it's the first time I ever went over 10,000 steps in a day, according to my phone, so. Dear Tara's father, if you had to pick a celebrity to marry, to fuck, and to kill, who would it be? Fuck, marry, kill, come on. Who are you gonna kill? That's the easy one, come on. There's a fucking celebrity. I, I would kill... Jim Carrey, just because he, he would probably be hilarious as he died. We're killing Jim um, Carrey. Who would I marry? Probably... Sandy the Squirrel. No, I'm not done with, I'm done with Sandy. She's... <laughs> You're done with Sandy. Which was one of the Brady Bunch girls. Marsha? No, the, the younger one. The, Marsha, Marsha's the baby one. No, she's the oldest one. What? I don't know, she ended up being a porn star anyway, so... She did? Yeah. What? So I would marry her. You would what? marry her? What? Marry the so, porn star one? Yeah, they'd get good income. <laughs> what was the other one? Who would I? I already killed somebody. You got. You gotta like oh, just fuck, fuck one. You can't like um, no more. Just one time. God, it had to be one of the Batman. One of the Batman. Yeah. Batmans. Yep. You gay? No, but look at that suit. <laughs> ben Affleck then. He's a has been. Probably. Uh, Get out. Maybe Danny DeVito. Danny DeVito. <laughs> Pegwa says for dad. Do you know what is Fortnite? It's a game. Um, I think we're all excited about Spyro the Dragon. Who is this stupid guy with all the heads that float around? They have a so Crash Bandicoot. Fall. That's what I was talking about, Crash Bandicoot. No kidding. With the, with the Aku Aku. Woodabaga. Yeah, I a, always called it Woodabaga. I didn't even know it had a name until and that's, recently. Uh, that's really great because that went along with that same line of jungle jungle hunt that I liked. I love all that stuff. That's that's good stuff. Hell Betcha. yeah. Uh, and the only other new game that I could think of that I might enjoy... Um, what was the one you rolled around and... Uh, the big ball and picked up all that crap. I can't ever pronounce that. Are you talking about Katamari? Yeah. yeah Katamari is not new. Is there a new Katamari? I know, I, no, I'd love it. That's what I'd be looking for. Yeah, yeah. they remade Katamari Damacy. I think yeah. they had like a... I think the gameplay was a little, you know, on it. Like, yeah. It's, it should be it's more true. like Marvel Madness than it should be. More Marvel Madness? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, what was that game that mom was like addicted to? Oh, we had to... De Devil Dice? Devil Dice was insane. Yeah. yeah, she she like that's all she did for like. Look that up if you want to see it. I, it's a. <laughs> it's like a PS One game. Yeah, PS One yeah. game. PlayStation Two was my last PlayStation. Really, you don't have a PlayStation Four? No, I don't. No, no. Actually, what? to correct that, I have Jay's PlayStation Two. You do? Because <laughs> his drive died, and you took mine. Oh yeah. Okay, I remember that. Yeah. Mine was fully hacked. You don't have an Xbox One, right? I do have a hacked Xbox One. You do? You have an I Xbox just, One on a PS4? I just don't have like, any discs because somebody I know took all my discs. What? Damico Jose wants to know if you will let me go out with him. Well, Jose, I'd have to know if you drive a decent car, no. You gotta take me out. You I'm have a, to take him out first, then I'm you can take me guy. out. I'm a car guy. Let's go ride. Okay, so Shara Public says, um, she's talking to me. You mentioned in a video about how your dad dated a black girl. Was his experience being with someone of a different race back then when he was younger? What was his experience? Uh, would love to hear his point of view. So the high school I went to, which is also the high school Tara went to, Ugh. there was 950 kids and two people who weren't white. The guy was my locker partner and the other one was his sister. You dated so a sister. I, yeah, I took her out a few times. We were close. You didn't get any bullshit for it, even though there no, was so few. No, not at all. No, no. There was a guy named Ricky Washington who came a little later. He was super popular because he played basketball. So I guess if you're one of two black guys in the entire school and one of you doesn't play basketball, I guess you could take some heat for that. But, uh, <laughs> he did get in trouble because some cigarettes I left in my locker. He wow. Took, he took the blame for it, so that's fine. Wow. The true lolly says, "How did he manage to raise such an awesome daughter?" I, I gotta tell you, I just had all the gravy fun times. I didn't do any of the, much of the discipline stuff. Between her and her mom, they worked it out. She is the wonderful person she is today. I feel uh, bad for mom because you were like my best friend. And then she was like the disciplinarian and we're like, this bitch doesn't want us to go have fun. My mom's great though. She, she did a really good job being a parent to both of us basically. <laughs> Jordi Muru says, question, what was his first reaction to knowing that you were moving to Vegas? Not very happy about that. Um, it's hard to let go. Like Tara says, I uh, helped her with her cars and stuff whenever she had problems and whatever little problems they had in their apartments they needed to fix. And you know, the usual dad advice about, you know, things that mean absolutely nothing. <laughs> but uh, the bottom line is it's, it's probably helped her a lot to come to grips with being an adult and having to deal with things herself. Being farther away and having to rely on her channels and her videos to see what's going on and see how she is. You know, I know her well enough to be able to see how she is when she does stuff. 
Yeah, I think it sucks that I can't like drive just like 20 minutes and then see the cats and see you guys and yeah. I mean that sucks and I was a little bit like oh my god You know like I can't just like call my dad and be like hey, that's not working. Well, you can still call <laughs> I, I can't, just I can't can, come fix like, it. Like FaceTime and be like hey, what do I do? Yeah, like Jay was telling me for like two months like tell your dad about the toilet What is wrong with the toilet? <laughs> so we have this toilet that like um, we don't use the toilet in here like almost ever Like I'll pee in here when I'm like doing videos or something But so rarely and like anytime I do come in here and look at the toilet. It's like this black creepy shit It doesn't smell like shit. It's just like scary, you know And so for a while I thought there was somebody like living in our attic or something. Jay was like Send a picture to your dad. <laughs> like, I don't think he wants to see oh what the fuck God, that is. my God, flush it once in a while. <laughs> okay, last question is from Nando13. Is there a favorite memory of Tara dad jokes? And do you remember what the jokes were? Is there anything else you did to troll me? Or any good dad jokes? I'm sure there was all kinds of great content, but uh, <laughs> none of it was really worth remembering. Wow. So the worst thing I ever did to her was to introduce her to the comedy skit, Monty Python and... That's the worst thing? Probably, it probably tweaked you and you know, made you demented. But, it made me uh, better, man. That's up to you. It's not necessarily what I did, it's just the influence I had on her, you know, her, my music and... Uh, you really uh, regret showing me like Monty Python and Led Zeppelin and Pink Floyd well, and I stuff like that? I wouldn't if I didn't think it had an effect on you. I'm so much cooler. So like, I was the coolest kid those, ever, too. It's one of those giant jokes that really has jokes on you. I do have a British sense of humor, you know. Well, and that's that's fine with mental illness. Oh. There's always inbreeding, you know. That's that's uh, <laughs> that's what causes the British humor over there. Hey, yeah. your ancestors came from there, so you're like part inbred, okay? Well, we haven't figured that out yet. So you wish you raised me like those weird Christian girls across the street? No, I'm just saying that the joke, the biggest dad joke, was exposing you to stuff that would completely alter whatever reality is for you. Aw, yeah. So that's, Tara, come sit down and watch this. What the <laughs> hell is this? I don't know, just watch it. Badger, badger, badger. Oh, man. Well, that doesn't mean nothing. Well, it's not supposed to. And You're then, the E-bombs world guy so back all of in a the sudden, day. So all of a sudden, it started making sense, and, you know, you've been screwed up ever since, so. <laughs> I'm honestly surprised that you were able to do this without just, like, never giving me an answer. I, I swear, like, every time I call him, I'm like, hi, Dad. He's like, hi, dad. You're more dad jokey off camera. No, None that's of that. That's stupid. That is stupid, but that's what you do. I can't get any answers out of you. Well, because I can't remember nothing. So your front is dad joke? Is that the whole conspiracy of dads? Well, the they can't remember about, shit? The whole thing about dad jokes is telling the same joke 20 times and never getting any response out of it, thinking it's a good idea to, idea to tell it again. I think when you've been a dad long enough, you probably are a little insane, right? Yeah. <laughs> but the reason I, I agreed to this and uh, am enjoying this is not because I'm a crazy whacked out guy, it's just that uh, I feel that I didn't totally destroy her and may have had some influence on making her a unique, good-hearted person. And I, other than the usual kid stuff, I don't remember her being dishonest. You come off as, you know, fuck them, let them deal with it, but you do have a lot of heart too, so. Slander. A lot of times when Bullshit. I hear you say things like that as well, Bullshit. It's good for the camera. Bullshit. <laughs> Bullshit. But uh, she's a very kind person ever since she was very young. And she grew into be who she is. And I can take a little bit of credit, but not much. She's her own person. Who she is is who she is. And I'm proud of her. I'm angelic. Well, there you go, guys. Anyone who ever asks me, are your parents fucking proud of you? You have the answer right there. I can just refer them to this clip. Affirmations. You are affirmatively proud of me, right? Yay! All right, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, you wanna do the outro? Do the outro. No. Do the outro. Do it. Come on. Prove you've ever watched one of okay, my videos. Okay, read the notes. Uh, subscription information in the notes. Be sure to become a contributor and be a... Oh my God, I can't remember. Like the video. Oh, well, yeah, like the video, but you wanna also be to subscribe to the channel and merch in the description which is a new merch from a new company and uh, actually i was wearing merch two days ago yeah he thought we were gonna do the video two days ago so he was wearing my merch and we went to hoover dam and now he comes with pink floyd like mm. are we advertising pink floyd this is an original concert shirt by the way it doesn't have the dates on the back well it says oh. first in space on the back oh it does okay. so, by the way seattle is all music thank you for having me here i appreciate it Wave to the camera. Be sure to uh, give your like your uh, pageant bitch wave. Come back on a regular basis and enjoy the best on content. On a regular basis. 
there is. The best content there is. Bye guys.